Okay, this video is going to concern Mr. Kierkegaard, Soren Kierkegaard. I'd spell it for you, but I don't remember. There's two A's and a D, RD at the end of it, Kierkegaard. Anyway, um, one of the interesting things about it is that uh, he was ignored for the longest time, and um, and it just goes to show you, uh, if any of you have readers, uh, you know, Kindles or, or Sony Reader, I, uh, I would recommend uh, www.gutenberg.org. It's wonderful. Everything in the public domain is uh, downloadable there. And, well, not everything, but they're working on making it everything, which is great. Um, but uh, I went to look for things um, on Soren Kierkegaard because I wanted to reread Fear and Trembling and um, and <clears throat> some of his, his unscientific postscript to the Chris, uh, Christendom. Uh, I, I, I'm not, certainly not an expert on him. And uh, I, the reason I want to talk about him at all is that uh, my last video on faith uh, was... Um, taking the existential view of faith, which he, which Kierkegaard famously does, and and um, tying this into the uh, www.gutenberg, you you won't find anything by him out there on Gut on the in the public domain, because somebody figured out that uh, this is probably the best argument that faith is going to get um, from anybody. And uh, uh, there are, you know, rationalists have a very difficult time with with reading Mr. Kierkegaard, patience-wise. Uh, it takes a little patience to read him. Um, but I like him because he's such a colorful figure. And I like him also because that whole idea of faith being an active, uh, passionate thing intrigues me. Um, no matter what anyone thinks of the different religions in the world and, and of faith in general, it's not going to go away. It's part of the human makeup. It's hardwired into us. And uh, the, qu the sooner that we recognize that, I think the better off we are. And uh, uh, so I'm going to I'm going to take a just another minute or two and uh, make this my first video about Soren Kierkegaard. Um, pro Fear and trembling is probably the best place to start with him. Um, but if you want to read something about it, by him, I'm not going to describe anything um, that he's written. I just want to give him. I, I want to give you a little outline. He was um, he 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 recognized that you, you you have to give this world to science. Um, you have to give objectivity to science, and the only thing left is all of existence. He says, and. Uh, one of the things he says that I really like and want to share with you is that anyone, according to Soren, anyone who would defend Christianity uh, is a Judas betraying Christ with a kiss. And that's amazingly um, apropos because... Faith is some. If faith is, as I was saying before, something that you do, if you go and try to defend it uh, through science or through a rational approach to it, you're only betraying it. You're you're showing that it is. C.S. Lewis uh, therefore becomes the biggest uh, Judas in the entire twentieth uh, twentieth uh, century. Get it in the right century here, old man. At any rate, okay, I'm getting on near to five minutes, and I don't want to bore you. So Soren Kierkegaard, um, 
faith is something that you do not something that you're given and if you accept that there are consequences and we're gonna look at some of them uh, in the next video I, I hope somebody enjoys these I enjoy doing them uh, have a good evening